Good evening and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where tonight we're here at Warwick Castle for Dragon Slayer. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Oh, so they first launched it back in 2019 and I came and I absolutely loved it to bits. And then obviously there was the pandemic so it's not been on since and yeah it's back for 2022. I remember when Sean saw it the first time I was like I'm gutted that I missed it because it looks so good. This is something completely different to what Merlin have ever done before because this isn't just a normal fireworks show. This is so much more it's a full themed evening a themed experience and with of course fireworks pyrotechnics live actors the wonderful horses here at warwick castle and of course um projection mapping which i love especially on a building That's like warwick so much going oh it really has lots going on and yeah i'm really excited to share highlights tonight in this video just want to say a huge thank you to the team here at warwick so for inviting much. us down on the first night for this to come and experience it they obviously knew how much i loved it last <laughs> time i raved about it and uh, i'm so excited to see it again and we've been promised that it's going to be bigger and better than Which last is time. really exciting. If you did see my vlog from summer 2019, you'll know that it started off firstly in the Jouston Arena um, and then you made your way up after the interval into the castle courtyard and it was all standing up. Well, this time it's brought back and very different because everything happens now in the main castle courtyard and the good thing is everybody gets an assigned seat for the show. I really like that idea, to be honest. I do as well because it means you can get here, grab some food, you've not got to think about, you know, sitting there to reserve a good spot you can soak up the atmosphere and then just take your seat prior to the show happening but uh, come and join us as we enjoy dragon slayer it's going to be big it's going to be spectacular and i can't wait for it and the good thing is it's a beautiful evening for this tonight yeah it's perfect it's been a really hot day but the sun's just going down now it's, lovely it's beautiful. show starts at 8 15. so we've got a little bit of time to have a little walk around we have indeed what have you got there then charlotte it's our little book Oh, that's nice. There and we go, visuals on the front. You open it up and it's Hey! Oh, I love that. There we go. That's a nice little souvenir. I love keeping so things like this. At the oh, I cannot wait for it. You're going to see them later on in projection I can't form. Wait. There we go. Theme Park Worldwide seats L16 and L17. So, yeah, lovely. Make our way down there shortly. Um, yeah, they let you in through the standard entrance of the castle um, anytime from 6.15 it yeah, opened from up, didn't 6 it? 6.15, yeah, you can enter the castle grounds. Yeah, so two hours before the actual That's show. Good. You can grab some food or a drink. Yeah, and as you can see, you've got all sorts of different stalls around here. There's actually a lot of choice um, around here. There's a bar around there at the bottom, a coffee shop just there. You've got sweets, you've got all sorts available. Hot food as well. Noodles. There's pizza down there, noodles. Off to the right, they've got some bratwurst sausages, it seems, down there as well. But yeah, it's a gorgeous evening. And already, I prefer this setup because before you kind of had to um, get in position, you know, whereas now you can just kind of chill out and yeah, enjoy the evening. Really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be fantastic. Well, the weather could not be more perfect. It's a gorgeous evening, the sun going down, blue skies, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, here's a look at the castle courtyard and how it's set up. So you've got all the rows of seating here, which is brilliant. I mean, look at this. Even if you're actually sat further down the back just here, you're going to get an absolutely brilliant view because of the setup of it. It's all the way around this show. It's happening on all the castle walls with the projections, the lighting, the pyro. And yeah, you've got the stage down there at the front. What a great setup. I think it's a really good setup. Suitable for everybody. It is, because last time, you know, you had to kind of just come up here and stand and watch it. Yeah, it's nice to sit down, I think. I think so too. And yeah, if you are down here at the back, then yeah, you're still going to get an absolutely amazing view. Doesn't make much difference where you sat, I don't think, for this. As long as you can see the main turret just there and, of course, the main part of the castle, which every seat is designed with that um, thought of, then yeah, you're going to be absolutely fine. Lovely music in the background as well. And yeah, loads of tech all the way around. That's the thing for me. I love the tech side of things. And yeah, just coming to see something like this is always spectacular. And in fact, there's a little look at the techie booth just at the back there. So you've got a few tents all set up. That's where they control the show. Got some moving heads up on the top just there. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love seeing stuff like this. I really do. This setup's really cool down the middle. I think people are gonna walk. You reckon they're gonna utilize this? I mean, we know there's the horses in the show, so. Possibly so, anything's possible. I mean, there's a ramp just there as well, there down there at the front. And yeah, here's a look at the stage. We're actually sat just off to the left in row L, aren't we? It said on there, yeah, row L. So we'll have a look at our seating in just a moment. Just over half an hour to go until the show starts. So you might be thinking, hang on a minute, Sean, it's not dark yet. Well, I'd imagine the first section's not really gonna be projections and pyro, building up the storyline. And then after the interval, I'd imagine things are really gonna kick off. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Yeah, all the seating down here, speakers all the way round. Gorgeous setup, and yeah, the stage area down there at the front. 
is absolutely fantastic too. So yeah, we'll take our seat. We're just over to the left here somewhere. Bro, Al, I'm just trying to find where Al is. We're somewhere down. Al, there we go. Oh, right there, and then round to the left-hand side. So we'll take our seat, and coming up shortly, we're putting in some highlights in from the first part of the show. Yeah, there is an interval. And like I say, it starts at 8.15, and the whole thing finishes at 10 o'clock. So really, you've got an hour and, what, 45 minutes of themed entertainment, including the interval. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it. Let's go and take our seat. Ready for Dragon Slayer. The legend I will tell you today, my friends, is born from the soil of Warwick and was told throughout the lands. As all legends, its truth lies deep within. That truth is of a man from humble stock who rose to be a mighty warrior knight, whose chivalry and courage protected this land from a relentless terror. This man became the greatest hero of his time. He became the legend that is Guy of Warwick. The Earl of Warwick and his daughter, Lady Police! Introduce our competitors so they may be given a hearty welcome by the people of Warwick. Introducing! Beauty is known throughout this land. Like I said, I look forward to winning your favour, Lady Felice. For your bonus of tongue, match your bonus in tournaments. Oh, it will, my lady. It will. My lord, this upstart is the friend!
Remember, my lady, to trust in God and believe that he will recover from his injuries. But how do you know that? I, I have competed and fought against the man that I knew of Guy of Mercia. Then I saw the fire in his eyes and I felt the strength of his arms and the passion in his heart. I hear the stories of his adventures and his fights for justice. And I know in my heart that your Guy of Warwick well, we did. Peter! Peter! She heard the Duke! Peter! On the Duke! The Duke! With loud claps and tears! All hail the Duke! Tell it, you dog! That was pathetic! I warned you! Guards! Burn his house down with him in it! No, 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 you selfish king ask very the servant what is your challenge single combat and for the victor as you like it so much gold
sorry. I wasn't here. I wasn't here to protect you. But you did protect me. You're home now, and it's time you rested. My God, we rejoice that you have returned. But the news of your chivalry and courage has spread across this land, and well, now you have returned and saved us from the terror that is the dumb cow. No more rest. No more rest in the realms, and no more battles, please. No more battles. I promise. I promise to never leave you again. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Thank you so much. Blood! Blood, the castle is under attack! Guys, we need you again! And now at night, I'm a guardian of your heart. It is my duty to defend you. Take me! Warwick needs him. He's hurt! He is a knight of Warwick. My help. on a bit of a cliffhanger there. There's a beast at Warwick Castle. That was Act 1, how did you find oh, it? that was really good. Like, such an amazing performance. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, 45 minutes in length, and it's really gripping, especially now you're in the castle courtyard. What a backdrop, a real piece of history, and the story with Guy of Warwick unfolding right in front of you. Uh, the beautiful horses as well. Oh. so much going on. Like, you're looking everywhere. Like, how amazing. That's what really works with this, because now it is all in the castle courtyard. Literally, you've got stuff going on all around you. Obviously, most stuff happens on the stage. However, you've got people running in from the side, you they're getting everybody going. Sometimes. Oh, it's really good, very dramatic. Obviously, Act One's more about building up the storyline. Uh, Guy of Warwick uh, kind of goes to these different places. He goes to Belgium and uh, fights all these different battles. However, he comes home to Warwick, and then as you've just heard, the castle is being invaded. Oh, oh no! Uh, and there's a beast. I think we know what sort of beast is going to be I here. So. A dragon is here for Dragon Slayer, of course. So, yeah, I can't wait for Act Two. But yeah, it's just so gripping, loads going on, beautiful score as well. The music um, really stunning. draws you in, doesn't really it? Good. Yeah, this is so much more than just a, a theme park show, for example. Obviously, we're not at a theme park here at Warwick, but um, it's so much more than that. It's a full on immersive experience where you do need to be listening to really follow the storyline. Yeah, um, but there's so much happening. I loved uh, when they were doing the bow and arrows and the fire effect behind. Yeah, that was really good. That was cool. Also, the burning at the stake, I thought that was a great effect it as was, well. Yeah. Uh, but so far, really enjoying it. We've got a 30 minute interval now uh, where you can come back out, get your food. Worth pointing out if you are coming, the food stalls do close during the actual show just to avoid people standing up and moving about. Uh, but everyone was pretty good and stayed yeah, sitting down. Much, yeah. um, you know, I was a little bit concerned with it being a seated kind of arena now. Are people going to, you know, be standing yeah, up? And, but no, everyone stayed everyone seated. Stay seated. Uh, other than at the start of the show, where obviously, you know, we welcoming Guy and everybody stands up to kind of welcome them in. Uh, but other than that, everyone stayed nicely seated. Um, for the show. But yeah, we're going to make our way back in now, ready for Act 2. So obviously we've had no pyrotechnics, not really much projection mapping yet or anything like that. All ready for, um, part, two. Ready for part 2. You know, yeah. there's a dragon heading for Warwick Castle. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and sit down and we'll put in some footage from Act 2. Here we go. It's time for Part 2 of Dragon Slayer. Across 
the sea. At first, they were just a speck on the horizon, no threat. Then their ships grew bigger and bigger. Their war drums grew louder and louder. It was like the beating of a dragon's cruel heart. All those who watched were filled with a dreadful foreboding. Then their dragon ships crashed onto the shore and the ferocious Norsemen swept forward. Like a bloodthirsty, fire-breathing dragon, they advanced upon the castle. Those brave enough to stand and fight this cruel beast were slain. As it reached the castle, Guy strode forth to face this monster. It swarmed fast across our land. Bringing death and destruction. I saw the fire in its eyes. I smelt the stench of blood on its breath. All those years of fighting and killing had prepared me for this moment. But I had come home for Felice, not to fight. Have I the strength left for one more battle? The battle of my life and the life of this land. Victory for Warren! Led the soldiers 
of Warwick to triumph against the terrifying beast from across the sea. He had almost single-handedly defeated the Vikings, who, in their dragon ships, had brought so much terror and death to this land. The church bells that had sounded a warning of this ferocious invasion now rang out with joy. Over the years, Guy had sent me letters in which he wrote of his quests and the battles he had faced against so many dangerous foes. His relentless drive to protect the weak as he led our people to victory. My beloved Guy, I thank God for keeping you safe. And I pray that this will be the last time you'll raise your sword in battle. The whole of Warwick celebrated his victory. And it wasn't long before news of Guy's conquest of the invaders had spread across the kingdom. There was more joy and celebration as Guy and my beloved daughter Felice were reunited and married. I dreamed of victory in battle. My dreams came true. Those victories brought me great renown. But now, the memories of those deeds haunt me. The sweet dreams of victory have become bitter nightmares. I have slain beasts. I have fought. Wickedness! Defeated a monstrous giant! Victories in battle now plague my every waking moment. They bring me insufferable terrors of the night. My body and my mind are sick. No longer do I crave adventure and victory. I crave peace and solitude. I pray my love for Felice will lift this darkness. With us. Of voices called his name, called for the man who had saved them. As I stood before the crowds, they chanted his name. At any moment, their hero would be by my side, holding me close forever. He was alive, but why had he left me? For twelve years, I wrote letters to Guy. Writing them eased my sadness. But seeing them piled high, gathering dust, crippled me with grief. I went to that cave. And there he was. My darling Felice, the first day I saw you, I loved you. I left you for glory, to prove myself worthy. But that life of chivalry became a life of horrors. 
On my return to you, I was haunted by nightmares. Then the disease in my mind was engulfed by the disease in my body. I left again to save you from the tormented anger of a madman and the sickness of a leper. Though my mind and body is dying, my heart is strong for your love. Your love made a humble man a knight. Your love made me Guy of Warwick. On the day of his funeral, the whole of Warwick came to pay their respects. There was much sorrow, for Guy was their hero who had saved them in their time of need. He was my hero, my love, a man who had traveled far in search of adventure, who had fought for justice in many lands, so he could make himself worthy enough to be my husband. And the pain of losing him was too much for me to bear. I was to be with him for eternity. Darling guys, I have cast off all the other us. joys for the sake of your love. Depend upon you alone. You are locked. In you, I have heart. placed all my hope and trust. He is lost. You are mine. Am I? And I, I am yours. yours. Guy were reunited forever. In his lifetime, Guy had become famous across the world for his bravery and chivalry. All had heard about the adventures of a proud boy from humble stock who strove to become a chivalrous knight. He protected the weak, fought for justice, at times against insurmountable odds. During his life, he was a beacon of strength, of righteousness and courage. His adventures, his story will be told and passed down through the generations. My friends, I once told you that there are many heroes and legends in this land. But when Guy fought and defeated the terrors of invasion, he saved a nation. So now you truly know the greatest legend of them all. Sir Guy of Warwick. The Dragon Slayer!
there from act two of the absolutely incredible Dragon Slayer. What a show. Honestly, that was absolutely brilliant. I've never seen projection mapping like that before. They had the quality of it and because he's so close to it as well. That's what really makes it. I mean, I don't need to talk in detail about that. You saw the footage. So but this location for shows like this is very special, it's isn't it? It's a perfect location. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, the guy's tower, the whole storyline. Yeah, it was 30 minutes in length, that second section. And that was even better than how it was previously. It's so good. I know you didn't see it in 2019, but that's a massive step up. There was more pyrotechnics. Uh, the projection mapping went on for longer. And the storyline had been expanded even more there as well. Absolutely amazing. Well done. To all the cast and crew. Huge well uh, there's just so much going on. It really is spectacular. But I tell you what, just the location for me of this Amazing. is what makes so it special. Much. You know, we're not projecting onto some fake castle. This is the real, real thing. thing. A real castle, a real storyline, uh, and so much going on. Absolutely amazing. Get yourselves down here to Dragon Slayer. We really recommend it. I hope this comes back every year. I said it before and I'll say it again. This is one of my favourite ever things that Merlin have put on at any of their attractions. It's emotional. Everyone's gripping. And there's 2,000 people sat here tonight. And everyone was just so quiet and respectful. Yeah, people were really uh, good. And I think everyone was just gripped into it. It's the storyline. And that's what it is. It's not just a fireworks show. Don't come expecting that. It's, so it's a much full, more. immersive experience. So much going on. That's Dragon Slayer at Warwick Castle. We loved it. 10 out of 10 from us. 100%. There's not one thing I'd change about it. A 45 minute set, then half hour, action packed. What a show. Some of the best projection mapping you'll ever see out there. All the actors were absolutely brilliant as well. I feel like this audio keeps getting louder know, as this wrap up keeps going. But, uh, so we're going to leave it there. But thanks to Warwick Castle for having us. Thank we you. really do appreciate it. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in Wales.